Okay, now let's look at how to evaluate a composition where um, the value three-fifths in this particular example is not a value that we can find on our unit circle construction that we've already made. Okay, it's not there. Um, so how can we do this? And it says to directions say evaluate the composition by constructing a triangle. So you know, let's first think like, what does this mean? The, the answer to this is some angle theta. I'm looking for some angle theta that has an arc sine of three fifths. Or, or what does this mean? It means that the sine of some angle theta is three fifths. These are the same thing. You move the arc sine to the other side and you move it as its inverse. Okay, so these are equivalent. Well, I can use this to construct a triangle like we did back in the beginning of the course. Sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So if that's given off of the sine theta equals three fifths, that's a three, four, five right triangle. So now I have this side right here. Um, I'm now going to use the triangle to evaluate the cosine. Okay. You know, keep in mind the the answer to this expression here is theta, the angle, right? Um, so now I really I just want to know what's the cosine of the angle. Uh, it's the angle right here. Cosine of the angle is four fifths. This is equivalent to four fifths. Okay, let's try another example. Uh, same type of the last one. We're gonna uh, evaluate this composition using a triangle. Uh, however, uh, we have an algebraic expression here uh, in terms of x instead of just the fraction. You know, uh, like in the last example, we had three fifths sitting right there. But we'll do the same thing. Like this right here. Um, this right here means that the sine of what angle theta is equal to x. Now, so let's build a triangle and show that. Uh, it's x, which is the same as x over 1, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Um, this side can be found with Pythagorean's theorem. It could be a squared plus x squared equals 1 squared. That would be a squared equals 1 minus x squared. So a is the square root of 1 minus x squared. That's the length of that side in terms of x. Okay, now using the triangle, we want to find the tangent of theta. Tangent is opposite over adjacent and that's our answer we want. Okay, another example of the same type um, just different functions, different uh, algebraic expression here. Um, start inside the parentheses to build your, your construct your triangle. Arc cosine of 3x, what is that? Well that means that the cosine of some angle is equal to 3x. So the right triangle that shows that. Cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse, 3x and 1. Uh, this side here would come from Pythagorean's theorem, a squared plus 3x squared equals 1 squared. So a squared would be 1 minus, I'm going to move this over, 9x squared. So a is the square root. 1 minus 9x squared. Okay, so I've got all three sides of my triangle. Should be covered now for anything I'm asked for. I want to know what the sine of theta is. It's the opposite. Divided by the hypotenuse. So it's just the square root 1 minus 9x squared.
Okay, uh, word problem here. Uh, rising hot air balloon. The hot air balloon festival held each year in Phoenix, Arizona is a popular event for photographers. Uh, Joe Silver, an award-winning photographer at the event, watches a balloon rising from the ground level from a point 500 feet away on level ground. Write theta as a function of the height s of the balloon. Okay, so let's think of the relationship between these variables and sides. Um, the height s is on the opposite side, 500 is on the adjacent side, so we could say that, this is for part A, the tangent of our angle is equal to the opposite over adjacent. Now that's not theta as a function of x, it, uh, theta as a function of s would say theta equals, not tan theta equals. So to write it as theta equals, we need to move the tangent to this side and we move functions by doing their inverse. So theta equals tan inverse of s over 500. There's your answer to part A. Now part B is the change in theta greater as s changes from 10 to 20 or 200 to 10. So for part B um, we need to find theta, um, we're going to do 10 first, and also 20. Okay, this is all calculator work here to do these two problems. Uh, my calculator is in degree mode. I think you could answer the question in either mode, though. Let's see, I'm at tan inverse of. 10 divided by 500. So this is 1.146 1 degrees. And we're also going to do uh, on the calculator compute theta with s being 20. And I get 2.291 degrees. Okay, so the, the difference Okay, so the difference is 1.145 degrees. Okay, well now let's do the same thing but for um, 200 and 210. So we'll do theta equals tan inverse 200 over 500 and we'll do theta equals tan inverse of 210 over 500. So I get 21.801 degrees. And I get 22.782 degrees. For a difference of 0 0.981 degrees. So where is the change in theta greater? The change in theta is greater from 10 feet to 20 feet.